welcome back to my channel. This is Lindy, AKA Paleo Barbie. Um, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> this is gonna be a day of eating. Uh, I made this video just to have, uh, I have a few of these on here, but uh, for those of you who don't particularly have the time or want to watch a full week's vlog, I wanted to show you guys a full day of eating just so you can kind of see what I'm eating um, and what I'm doing and all the things. So um, stick around and we'll get this day started and I'll show you what I eat this day. All right, good morning guys. I just made my breakfast. I have 150 grams of egg whites, one of the un tortillas from Unbun. Uh, this really isn't enough egg whites. I could have probably made two, but I don't want to use two tortillas. If it was, if I had some egg life wraps, I would have used two and made two, but um, just going with it. I'll probably just end up using a fork for the rest. But I've got an ounce of cheddar cheese on there. I've got some salsa, homemade salsa, two tablespoons. In my egg whites, I put some green chilies and, <clears throat> excuse me, losing my voice. Redmond's Real Salt, pepper, uh, Danos seasoning, and garlic. That's what's in my egg whites this morning. Of course, I've got my coffee. I'm about to refill it. It's got, <clears throat> excuse me, cinnamon nut pods, which is almost gone. I'm gonna have to do a grocery haul and just regular old community coffee. That's all I got this morning until I get some collagen. All right, guys, finished up with breakfast. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some yoga. Um, my husband's at church. I did not go to the church this morning. I, I work for my church. So some mornings I go to work and also to attend and some on, Sundays I just go to attend um, but today would have been just an attending day and I um, the hip issue if you have, if you watched my 75 hard vlog from this week you'll see my arthritis in my hips have been bugging me um, my arth arthritis in my hands is like gone um, since I started keto uh, and my hips have been an off and on thing um, I don't know why they're more inflamed right now um, probably because I'm doing so much exercise but um, I'm not gonna stop exercising. I just need to listen to my body though. Um, and so that's why I'm doing yoga this morning. So anyways, I'm gonna go do some yoga. It also will help, I think, if I get a new mattress. Our mattress is worn out, but because he's um, unemployed and working a temporary job at the moment, it's not something we can replace at the moment. So along with our car, <laughs> we're working, you know, things will happen when they're supposed to happen, right? Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go do some yoga, work on these hips. Uh, and yeah, and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so I just finished yoga. Um, I did yoga with Adrian, um, the one that I love to do. Um, it's the deep stretch one, I believe it's what it's called. I'll, I'll put a picture in here, but it's, she's here on YouTube. She has tons of videos. I have a lot of them in my workout playlist and also in my 75 hard workout playlist um, because I saved, especially this one in there, I think. Um, and you can search by like what you need it for like if you need a certain body part to be focused on or you can search in her playlist she has playlists for different amounts of time so like if you want one that's 30 minutes or 20 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever it is you can search in her thing and she's got them all separated that way too so it's really good she's really good she's very relaxing and um she's not super difficult as far as if you're a beginner she ha she even has some beginner ones too but um i've been doing yoga for a long time so i can do a lot of poses there's still some that i can't do um just because i don't move that way <laughs> but i just modify you modify and do what you what you your body can do right um so anyway i'm finishing up the last of my coffee and then i'm going to um start my water i am going to read my book now um and i'm really enjoying this book i'm going to be done before i know it and i'll be starting a new book so um really liking this book. Of course, I love Selena, so I'm interested in hearing different perspectives about her anyways. So, um, all right, I'm going to get this done. All right, so for lunch, we had some leftover steak and some leftover chicken from this week, so we both split them. He's having half and I'm having half. Um, we're making side salads. with um, I'm putting on mine spinach, some sunflower seed kernels, some real crumbled bacon, I put five grape tomatoes, and then the dressing I'm using is this green goddess, if this will stand up over here, uh, this green goddess dressing from Sprouts, which is keto and paleo friendly. It's got pretty good ingredients, and it's cheaper than the Primal Kitchen brand and the Test Maze, both of them. It's cheaper than both, so 
um, here are the macros. So that is what I'm using. We also have a bunch of other flavors too. Um, but anyways, that's lunch. All right, so I just mixed up my supplements. I do a scoop of the OptiGreens 50, a scoop of magnesium, and then a scoop of the MicroFactor, which is my multivitamin. It has all kinds of stuff in it. Um, I usually do a shaker bottle, but I started doing a jar so that I could put it in the dishwasher. So that is what I'm doing right now. All right, time to do my outdoor workout, and it's a million degrees out here. That's what I get for not doing it in the morning, but wasn't feeling it. <laughs> this morning so which is okay I, I i can live with the consequences anyway i'm gonna get on this bike and get my 45 minute ride in y'all see that sun right it's raining <laughs> i know i can't see it very well because of the sun but there are raindrops falling on me okay, i don't know if you can hear it but i was like something is wet falling on me and um uh, I wish the camera could pick it up. Maybe it is a little. Anyway, weird. All right, for dinner, I'm gonna make some pizzas and we're gonna use the kibosh crusts. This, this is the zucchini crust. Um, and for one third of the pizza, it's only one carb, but um, each of us will eat our whole pizza, which is like 136 calories. And uh, I think like three carbs, so, which is pretty good. But I'm gonna put these in the oven and cook them just for a few minutes before I put the toppings because last time I didn't didn't do that um, and I would like them to be a little bit crispier. It says to do it in a in a pan, a nonstick pan before you put them in the oven, but uh, I want something easier. So I'm going to go ahead and just try it, try it this way. If it doesn't work, then next time I'm going for the pan on the stove. But I've got two pizza pans with some parchment paper on here and I'm going to go ahead and put these on here and get them warm and then put the toppings on. All right, I got rows on both of them after letting them uh, cook a little bit in the oven. I'm gonna add turkey pepperoni, this chicken sausage, some spinach, some onions, and on mine, I'm gonna add some mushrooms. So let me get all these on here and I'll show you what they look like. All right, so here are the pizzas. Mine has the mushrooms, onions, turkey pepperoni, spinach, some of that chicken sausage, and of course, mozzarella. And his has spinach, uh, mozzarella, turkey pepperoni, and the chicken sausage and onions. All right, so there's mine. All right, guys, finishing off the night with some Fage 0% yogurt and a, one scoop of Vital Proteins chocolate collagen. It's finishing up the day. My calories were 19.95, my protein 176, total carbs 40 with 11 fiber, 125 fats, and I finished all my water. So it was a really good day. Uh, and that's a wrap. So I will talk to you. We'll wrap it up tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this and it gave you some ideas of th things you can eat on keto, um, or in a low carb lifestyle, whatever you're doing. And, um, yeah. So, um, I know some of you are new from Mission Keto and a couple other channels that I've done some collabs with, and I'm really thankful for you guys. Um, I'm going to try to add some new content here and there. Um, I'm planning on doing some lives and um, also want to let you know down below in the description is all my information. So I have like my PO box, I have um, my link tree, which has all my links to all my different things. I have some discount co codes down in there. So if there's some things you want to get, um, I am an affiliate for a couple of things and um, for Everly, for um, CBD, um, a couple other things that are in the in the link tree um so anytime you use that link it helps me out um but you also get a discount um on some of those things um so i just want to let you know that um what else was i going to tell you oh also uh for those of you that are new i do have an e-cookbook the link is in my link tree as well it's on i'm selling it on etsy right now it's a pdf um i eventually want um i've already started adding to it and eventually i'm going to uh come out with a bigger book, maybe a bound one um, later on, but um, it's a lot of work and it takes a lot of getting things coordinated and whatnot. Um, so uh, hopefully that will be coming in the future. Um, but for right now, I have my e-cookbook and it has some things in it, um, recipes now. Um, like I said, the link's down below for that as well. 
and follow me over on Instagram. My, um, I'll put that up right here or here, one of those two. <laughs> so you can follow me over there uh, if you're on Instagram. Um, also on Facebook, I have two Facebook groups. One is called uh, Keto Family with Paleo Barbie uh, or Paleo Barbie Just Keto. Uh, and um, the other one is Flexing with Friends. So one is keto and one is any kind of eating so um, or workouts or whatever you wanna talk about in that group. So um, you should be able to get to them through my link tree. Uh, and if not, let me know in the comments and I'll post it uh, if you don't see it. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for putting up with my rambling and have a great day.